En compagnie de la légende Willy Mullins. Willy, you bought two really interesting uh, coats. One coat, Charlus, yeah. and one Philly Carmaderi. We used to believe that like, the Irish buyers are going like like a big black uh, st um, gelding, and you buy like a flat horse and a, and a Philly. Why? Yeah. I love authorized, and uh, Hugo Merriam trains the Philly. And when we saw her running second, you know, she immediately came under a radar. And when I asked Hugo, he thought she'd be really suited to Irish conditions. And Hugo spent a year with me in Ireland, and so he knows what it takes, and he knows the horses we like. And he was very keen that we should have her. So I'm, um, if it doesn't work out, I'm coming back for Hugo. <laughs> And what about Charles? He's a f brilliant flat performer. Yeah. What's the plan? Flat or hurdles? I go or? jumping. I go jumping. I mean, we like Churchill's, and I think they could. Uh, he could turn into a nice jumper. He's a nice type of individual. And um, you know, and then maybe go back on the flat in a year's time with him. With like Vauban, Melbourne yeah. Cup. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Yeah, we. You know, that's. He, he's a nice individual, and uh, you know, he, he looks a type that we could. Uh, turned into a, a nice dual-purpose horse. Probably went a little bit higher than I anticipated for him. But if you don't get them unless you go higher, then you think you're going to pay anyhow. You had so many, so great successes with the French bread. What made them so special to you? I don't know, <laughs> but uh, but it, you know you can buy horses in France. Sometimes horses are very difficult to buy in Ireland. Yeah. Um, I think French people will sell more. Uh, the Irish people, it's like selling their children when they sell their horses, they, they're very hard to deal with. So um, it's good, there's a great, there's great quality in France. I love the style of racing. Uh, French racing is run like Irish racing and the horses always will improve with age, I think. Thank you, Willy. Je vais faire juste la traduction rapidement. Donc, en parlant de Carmaderi, il me disait qu'il avait sondé Hugo, Hugo qui a travaillé pour lui pendant, pendant un an. Et Hugo lui avait dit que la jument elle allait correspondre 100% aux courses irlandaises, elle a besoin de rythme, elle a besoin de vitesse. Et il lui a dit que si, si ça ne correspondait pas, et ben, il allait tirer les oreilles d'Hugo. Et concernant Charlus, c'est un cheval qui a un peu l'image de Vauban, pouvait faire du plat, de l'obstacle, pourquoi pas viser la Melbourne Cup. Et je lui ai demandé aussi ma ben, dernière question. Qu'est-ce qui faisait qu'il ait une réussite aussi importante avec les chevaux français Pourquoi euh, les chevaux français étaient si bons Il me dit que déjà il y a un peu moins de concurrence pour, euh, pour les acheter. Des fois, les Irlandais ne sont pas trop enclins à vouloir euh, les laisser partir. En France, c'est plus facile pour lui de les acheter et il a une réussite exceptionnelle, donc euh, il continue.